Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. And in this video, I'm going to talk about FRS radios, family radio service. Are those any good for prepping? I mean, we all know these radios don't have a great range, but sometimes they will surprise you. And I think they're pretty darn useful. This particular model is the uh, Retevis RT45. I paid a bit less than $50 for the pair, shipped. So very inexpensive, you get two of them. And I'll talk about uh, their specific features uh, in a couple of minutes. Now, FRS radios is a uh, license-free service. So no need to uh, pass an exam or pay any fees. And you can uh, use uh, all the uh, FRS channels. Now, they often come with GMRS channels, and that requires a license. So it's, there's no exam to pass, so nothing to know, but you need to pay a fee, and then you have a family-wide license. So no need to get one for everyone in, in the group or the family. But uh, these radios are limited to 500 milliwatts, half a watt, and the antenna is fixed so you can't change it you can't use a better antenna it's illegal although in a future video i will show you how to extend the range of these radios legally now a lot of people do program other radios like this uh, yesu uh, vx6 to function on uh, frs frequencies and that of course is illegal because of the power this is five watts and the fact that you can remove the antenna and use a better model. Did I put FRS frequencies in my Yesu? No, I put PMR frequencies because that's what we have in Europe, but same thing. The thing is though that I don't want to, I can't legally transmit uh, on PMR frequencies with this radio. And that's the reason why I got the Retevis. Now I can use PMR legally. And you can do the same with FRS. So if you do have something like a Yesu or something like that, yes, do program the FRS frequencies in them, but don't transmit with that. Just use a regular pair of, uh, you know, something you get at Walmart or whatever. Uh, I like the Retevis because uh, I've had good luck with this brand. Uh, they are above uh, the Bofeng level, <laughs> if you may, you may say, uh, in quality. Uh, it's not a Yesu, but for the price, it's pretty darn good. The uh, Yesu I would only use on uh, PMR or FRS frequencies for extreme emergencies. And that little extra power, while it's not that important, can give you the extra range you need. So are these any good for prepping? Uh, what kind of performance can we expect from you know, such a radio that some consider toys? Well, they will surprise you, and they have surprised me. Uh, they have disappointed me too. <laughs> so it all depends on the environment. If you use these in an urban environment, don't expect much. You can think of radio waves like light. Light will reflect on different surfaces, but of course, each time it does, it will lose brightness. And that's the same thing for radio waves. So in an urban environment, this will work, but probably no further than, I don't know, 500 yards, a kilometer, you know, a thousand yards, uh, you know, maybe a mile. I think it could work up to a mile, but further than that, you're going to run into problems. Now, on the other hand, if you're on a hill or a summit, you know, mountain, you could expect, I don't know, maybe up to 100 miles, even using 500 milliwatts. And the best example of this is my friend, uh, Frederick when we were at the uh, Plateau de Lotion, so we were at 2,000 meters uh, altitude, he made a contact with Sardinia on less power than this. Foxtrot, uh, numero, numero. Foxtrot zero, Foxtrot zero, Golf Mike Bravo, Roger. Foxtrot zero, Foxtrot zero, c'est très 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 bien les signals. Ici Foxtrot 0, Golf Mike, bravo, GMB, opérateur Frédéric, QSL. Foxtrot 0, Golf 
Mike Bravo. A hundred milliwatts. <laughs> so it is possible to make very long distance contacts with 500 milliwatts. The thing is, if propagation isn't there, uh, the conditions aren't good, uh, it's just not going to happen. You just can't count on it. However, to use inside a group or, you know, in a neighborhood, uh, uh, you could get a bunch of these and distribute them to your neighbors, your friends, uh, people in the neighborhood, and you could uh, set up a kind of a neighborhood surveillance, neighborhood watch uh, in case of uh, SHTF, and that would be a very good thing to do. And for the price, of course, you can get a bunch of them. This particular model uh, I really like because, uh, well, the most important part for me is that it uses AA cells. So there are three AA rechargeable batteries inside this radio, but most importantly, it has a USB port for charging. And that's very important because that allows me to charge this, this, you know, these radios with either a battery pack or my solar panel, and my solar panel having two outputs, I can charge uh, both my radios with the same panel. It also has a Vox, so you can uh, trigger the radio with voice, which can be uh, pretty cool too. Uh, you can set up even a surveillance, put that in a room, and you can listen to everything that's going on in the room. Uh, it has uh, CTCSS tones, so uh, that is used to filter out other people that might be on the same channel but don't use the same tone, so that's pretty useful. Uh, it even has a uh, flashlight, actually, <laughs> which is, well, you know, you can plug in a uh, headphones also. Other than that, it's pretty simple to use, which is great because, uh, you know, it wouldn't take more than five minutes to explain to someone how to use this radio. All right, so now we have to test these radios, and of course, uh, the best thing to do is to climb up a mountain. All right, Coldez, the guys are here. The gang is present, <laughs> experimenting as usual. All right, so we have a new antenna here. Uh, I've never seen it. Pack 12. It's kind of interesting. Got a whip on top. Bonjour, ici Gilles, le Golf Niner Lima. Est-ce que quelqu'un me reçoit? Ici Gilles, Gilles du Coldez, qui vous appelle du Coldez. Uh, vous me recevez bien? Ah bah super, bah j'ai essayé la radio là pour voir à quelle distance j'arrivais à communiquer, hein, euh, la portée, et puis euh, bah, je sais pas où vous êtes, mais euh, là je vous reçois très bien. Hein. Vous êtes où là, approximativement, dans quelle ville ah, J'ai pas bien reçu, hein. appuyez sur le bouton, attendez 2-3 secondes avant de parler, allez-y. Ah, Vence, oh là, formidable, hein. c'est relativement loin du Coldez. Hein. Je ne sais pas combien de kilomètres, mais euh, c'est une bonne distance. Hein. Je suis à 2 km 300 de la ville de Alors, j'ai entendu 2 km 300 de quelle ville De Vence, ah, formidable, hein. oui, on me dit que ça fait à peu près 18 km. Hein. Euh, ouais, c'est vraiment très très bien hein, pour une petite radio comme ça, euh, incroyable. Oui, oui, même chose ici, hein, même chose. Hein. D'ailleurs, je fais une vidéo pour YouTube et euh, ce sera sur la chaîne Radio Prepper. Radio Prepper. P-R-E-P-P-E-R Eh ben formidable, merci encore pour, pour le test, hein. je suis très content de voir que ça fonctionne bien. Hein. Une excellente journée, hein. une bonne fin de, de dimanche. Hein. Au revoir. <laughs> 18 km avec ton petit machin. Frederick has a uh, micro BDX uh, HF radio, which works pretty well. Brag, brag. Okay, 
Oui, bonjour, merci. Ici Gilles, Golf 9 Lima au Coldez avec un petit PMR euh, de 500 milliwatts. Vous me recevez Oui, Gilles, je n'ai pas compris euh, ton QTH. Euh, j'ai compris, euh, j'ai été coupé malheureusement. Alors, Gilles, je te retourne au micro. Ok, je suis au Coldez, fort de la revers. Coldez, fort de la revers. Reçu Ok pour le Coldez, pas de problème. Eh bien, oui, ça passe. Eh bien, écoute, ça passe bien. Euh, euh, Laurent, tu le reçois, toi euh, And this goes to show that uh, you don't need a whole lot of power to make a decent contact. 500 milliwatts just does it, as long as you're high enough. So, is it worth it to buy this kind of radio? I'd say definitely yes. For the price, really, you can go wrong. It also allows you to remain legal, you know, to use these frequencies legally. I will uh, put uh, those two radios in my truck and uh, I probably should get another pair for my apartment as well. Performance can be uh, fairly good. If you know the limitations of these radios, you can walk around them and it's pretty darn useful for a group or family and friends. In the US, of course, there is another option that's MURS, M-U-R-S radios, and those would probably work better in a wooded or you know, countryside environment. FRS I would uh, more use for an urban environment, although of course it's not much power for that. But if you stay in the neighborhood, these will do great and that's why I got them. So FRS gets my thumbs up. And by the way, if you want the uh, <laughs> Radio Preppers t-shirt, go to uh, radiopreppers.com and look in the uh, upper right corner, there is a link there. Have a good one!